If you've heard that roaring sound from Washington this week, it's taken a lot of Americans by surprise. Suddenly a torrent of votes on big issues in Congress, like eliminating don't ask, don't tell. So why is Congress so fired up just before the new term? John Carl tells us. Don't call it a lame duck. This Congress has accomplished more in the last six days than in the previous six months. The repeal of Don't Ask, Don't Tell, which passed over the weekend, the first step in lifting the ban on gays serving in the military. Thrilling day. This is indeed an historic day. Late last night, it was food safety. The Senate passed sweeping new regulations designed to prevent outbreaks of tainted foods. And all this after the tax cut bill, extending the Bush income tax cuts, adding even more tax cuts, and extending unemployment insurance. And there may be more to come. The new START treaty, which would reduce the number of deployed nuclear warheads in Russia and the U.S. by 30 percent. It's hotly opposed by many Republicans who say it favors Russia. We got snookered. We got snookered on missile defense. And Democrats now say they have the votes to pass the 9-11 health bill to establish a $6 billion fund to provide health care for 9-11 rescue workers. But don't pop the champagne corks. Senator Tom Coburn today released a report of the top 100 examples of wasteful government spending in 2010. It's quite a list. $28 million spent to print the congressional record, a chronicle of every word uttered in Congress that's already available online. About the only thing the printed version of the congressional record is used for these days is filling up recycling bins on Capitol Hill. Also, $1.8 million for a museum about neon signs in Las Vegas, and $436,000 spent by the Census Bureau on a totem pole in Alaska to encourage Alaskans to take part in the census. We could have a final vote on the START Treaty as early as tomorrow. This is the top remaining priority for the White House. And despite the fact that the Republican leadership is against this, Democrats are increasingly confident, Diane, that they will get the 67 votes they need to ratify the treaty. Why that increased confidence, John? Well, it's one vote at a time, Diane. And in fact, we just heard a little while ago, Scott Brown told us that he will vote yes. That's another Republican yes vote. Even with just the declared votes, they're almost there.